Welcome back to What the Flick, that's Alonzo, that's Christy, hey. I'm Matt. Uh, some recent news uh, from Italian actress Asia Argento uh, calling out director Catherine Bellot about- Breyat. 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 director. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, she doesn't get to have her name pronounced correctly anymore because she's apparently really obnoxious. No. Uh, so, right, uh, Catherine Breyat, Breyat. Breyat uh, has <laughs> defended Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. <laughs> What did she say what exactly? What else can I say? Say what she said exactly. Uh, she gave a scathing interview on the podcast Murmur, uh, defending the mogul and criticizing the hashtag MeToo movement and the French, and this I love, uh, balance ton porc, denounce your pig mm -hmm. uh, movements, uh, as well as personally attacking Weinstein victims uh, and had been working with uh, a direct, uh, had been working with David Hamilton, the British fashion photographer who was accused mm -hmm. by multiple women of rape. Uh, Prepubescent right. women. Prepubescent, <laughs> right? Um, I mean, here's yeah. the thing. On its face, this is all awful, and you know, I'm I'm kind of appalled at it. At the same time, like Briot's work is so complicated about women's issues, including, you know. Predators. I mean, she did that film with uh, 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 Isabelle Huppert called like, um, oh, I gotta look it up. But it was basically based on a true incident that she had where she was involved with this guy who was a con man uh, and who was exploiting her. And she eventually like turned him into the cops. Right, but her brand in general is like really tough, like misanthropy. And so at least she's like, on brand and saying weakness. this, kind yeah. of, yeah. I mean, I mean she, she, her, her, are tough to sit her notion yeah. of feminism is a is a dense one. So here's what she says: Despite everything, I think that Europeans have lost a lot with the loss of Weinstein. Uh, you have to remember that there are French producers who we haven't denounced. I won't mention them. I won't mention names, although I know three who are extremely respected. I don't know why they weren't denounced as well. They absolutely had their place. Long before the Me Too movement started, I was very upset when Jessica Chastain made statement against the film Last Tango in Paris. If you listen to her, that film should never have been made. To listen to her, Maria Schneider was raped, but Jessica Chastain wasn't there, and it's not true. I was on set, that scene was fiction. Now, there are other people who were on the set who contradict that right. account and back up- Including with Schneider. Who, yes, who back up what Jessica Chastain said. So that's, I mean, yeah, for the most part, I find it, find this appalling. And and then Asia Argento came, comes back with specifics about the horror of right. working with Catherine Breyat, who apparently like when Asia Argento had some sort of um, infection during the shoot and had to be in the hospital, Breyat visited her in the hospital to tell her, oh, you're never going to work again because you made me stop shooting. Right, and I guess so, she, was, she was horribly abusive to everybody on set, but she had had a stroke recently and so nobody wanted to push back and they were all kind of walking on <laughs> eggshells around her. It is really, really complicated. And I'm always sort of baffled as a woman when like women aren't backing each other up. It's just, it's weird to me. Like when women don't believe each other or no. they add like this, like they outright um, contradict or deny or refuse the plausibility of what women are saying. I just, I, I find it weird and baffling and just counterproductive in general. Here's now. here's here's more of what Breyat said. Mm -hmm. Women mustn't be afraid to speak out, but still you can't resort to hashtag me too about verbal violence. Of course, if you're 14, verbal violence can be the same as actual physical aggression. But when you're 25 or 30 and you go to a man's hotel room, you know the game. Right. Women shouldn't present themselves as bimbos or innocent young things regardless of their age. Rather, we have to educate young girls so that they're better equipped to defend themselves and so they don't feel soiled just because someone said something to them. That's not sufficient, they have to know how to respond. Yeah. And of course, like you know, Harvey used physical and verbal abuse in myriad ways, you know, over decades right. to intimidate people and get what he wanted and, and silence them. So yes, verbal abuse is tantamount to that kind of physical abuse. Well, and, and you're wielding it that so way. So then she really turns on Asia Argento and says, to be honest, I don't believe Asia. I know her, she was very, yes. very young. If there's anyone I don't believe, it's Asia Argento. As a person, Asia Argento is quite servile. Never ask her to kiss my feet, but she's that kind of person. I don't believe Asia. If there's anyone capable of defending herself who's not timid about sex, who does it a lot, and has lots and lots of desire for both men and women, it's her, so I don't believe Asia. Asked what Argento's motivations for lying might be, Briat is just as fat, uh, just as frank. For Asia, it was obviously, let's say, motivated by self-interest. It was a kind of semi-prostitution. Harvey Weinstein's not the worst man there is. Thanks. He's not the most stupid either. Asia may have been disappointed that she didn't become a great Hollywood actress. She might have been, but there were lots of other things, drugs, many other things. She feels bitter 
because bitterness too can lead people to denounce if you wanted to obtain something and you didn't obtain it. If you feel humiliated, quite honestly, I don't like Ozzy. I think she's a mercenary and a traitor. Yikes. I mean, I don't know why right. anyone expects that anyone would like willingly subject themselves to the kind of scrutiny and just daily chaos of coming out with these kinds of allegations. Like, why would you willfully do that, like, just for fun, just for attention? I, I, it makes no I, I, I know. That's the thing that always kills me. The people like, oh, they're doing it for the money. Or like, no. The, it's horrible. The Cosby accusers are not getting paid. They're like getting dragged through the mud and subjecting themselves to the second guessing of all these people who don't know anything, but who just need to decide this guy's innocent and that guy's guilty. I mean, this whole thing is just creepy to me, but I agree with you. It does ultimately boil down to when women refute each other and don't listen, don't tell tell people not to trust other women. I never know what to make of that. The cherry picking. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what's what's frustrating about this is that Briot may actually have, like she may have legit points to make, right? Like is, the, is a hashtag movement on Twitter dangerously close to, if not already crossed the line of a mob mentality? Sure, right? But when you start, on the personal attacks mm -hmm. against Argento, even though, even in the case of Argento, who's talked about how she had eventual consensual liaisons right. with Weinstein, like no means no in the moment, and Briot's got no stand. Like when she goes, like she totally misses any point she makes because she just like doubles down on the awful stuff she says, and. At that point, like any point she's trying to make is completely missed and well, completely yeah. lost. Well, also saying Ozzy Argento likes sex is not tantamount to Ozzy Argento likes to be raped. I right. mean, just, that makes right. it sound like rape is sex, which it is not. And so it's, right. it's, it's all just closed minded right. and weird. Yeah. Yeah. I, this, right. This gives me the creeps. But then so do the Catherine Brayout films I've seen. I'm not, I'm not saying that in a disparaging way. I'm right. saying she traffics in a very sort of uncomfortable right. level of. Uh, sex that crosses over right. into violence right. and about you know a lot of things like that. So this is this is all in keeping with what I would expect her to be talking yeah. about right. as this subject is being bandied about the, the media. I right. think I liked Fat Girl, but she is a provocateur. Yeah, like it is like stirring things up, you know, for the sake of provocation. Right. You know? The other thing that I'll I'll wrap this segment with. Um, this is the worst segue that I hate using in Yikes. other news oh. out of the Me Too and Times Up movement. Uh, Buzzfeed reported last week about John Crick Felucci. Go. Oh God! Jeez. And uh, so a couple of women that accused him of one, at least, a sexual relationship when she was uh, 16. Uh, another one of inappropriate behavior when she was a teenager. Both of whom had been promised, or at least insinuated, that they would get careers uh, at Spumco in animation. And the more you read that BuzzFeed story, the more it really sounds like Crick Felucci was a groomer, so to speak, one of those guys that that you know finds the right type of person that's underage and and has an inappropriate relationship. And uh, even his lawyer says, you know, uh, John, when he was uh, younger, had a girlfriend that was a teen, and and even kind of admits it. It's just it's one of those things like. Really? Yeah, and, it, and it's one of those stories where it's like, well, done with Ren and Stimpy now. I, yeah. You can't go back. And what that, what's frustrating about that is that Crick Felucci like changed animation at that point. And you know, it's it's another. We're this is not the last time we're going to hear stories like this. We're going to get more of these stories about people that we thought we liked and had done really iconic work. And, and it's just awful.